afternoon. Happy Monday, start of the week. Welcome to day 17 of my 31 day live video challenge. Today I want to talk about this phrase, you get what you get and you don't get upset. <laughs> I've had a lot of conversations in the last few days about choice because there's, you know, there's a lot of things where you make a choice. Every single day in your life, you make a choice to do something or not do something. And this phrase has been popping up in my head because I remember when Evie, my daughter, um, was in kindy. She came home one day and she said, you get what you get, you don't get upset. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Because Evie has always had choice. From a very young age, she has had choice whether she wants to eat something, um, dress a certain way, but obviously I do limit her choices, but it's the being able to choose. Do you want A or B? Do you want to do A or B? Do you not want to do A or B? And knowing that certain things, if she doesn't do that, there's consequences and she can choose to receive the consequences of not doing something or not, right? So there's always a choice. And so when she came home and said that to me, I was like, what the, I didn't say that to her, but in my head, I was like, who taught you that? And she said, that's what the teacher says. And I have a real problem with that. Because no, it's not you get what you get and you don't get upset. You always have a choice, right? And yes, sometimes the choice you make have certain circumstances that may not be the best. But at the end of the day, you've made the choice and you take responsibility. So that's something that really annoys me because People don't see that and then they blame it on other people, right? Yes, sometimes there are forces that might make you make choices which you feel powerless, right? So, but at the end of the day, true freedom comes from inside. So people might want to make things intentionally harder for people and think that's okay, and most people would be in the fear mode where they go, all right, I'm going to choose the easier option because I don't want to have my life be made harder. So I'm going to choose the easy option, even though it doesn't fit in with my values. It doesn't fit in with my beliefs. I am scared. I am fearful. And then there's the people that choose to live in their integrity whether their integrity aligns with your beliefs and values, it doesn't matter. They chose themselves and that is true freedom. Because when you choose something that doesn't align with your values and your beliefs, you are not choosing yourself. And when you're not choosing yourself, you're in this constant state of being angry at yourself. Subconsciously, you might not even know it, like be aware of it, but because you keep choosing things that don't align, that you actually don't want to do, but you do it anyway, because it's the easier way out, then you're going to keep doing, you're going to keep doing that one because you can't step into your power and make the choices that are right for you, one. And two, you're going to continuously, maybe subconsciously be beating yourself up. Your soul is like, you know, screaming inside you going, choose you, choose what is right for you. Why are you not doing that? And your ego will be telling you that you're not good enough, that, you know, uh, if you choose that, then, you know, it'll be easier. But, you know, you're, you're just not living in your truth. And that's what a lot of people are doing. They don't live in their truth. And when they choose something that ends up not being what they want and, you know, they have an outcome that isn't what they were expecting, then they blame 
whatever forces or circumstances they were in. But you always have a choice. Is not you get what you get and you don't get upset. You can choose what you want. And yes, you can freaking get upset. You can get upset. But at the same time, when you get upset, you also go, okay, how can I make myself not upset and still live the best life that I have? Because it is up to you to live your best life. It's not up to anyone else. No one can change that for you if you're not willing it to change for yourself. Yes, I'm very passionate about this topic. If you have noticed that I'm just like, eh, um, going on. So that is my spill for today. Remember that you always have a choice. And when you choose things that align with your soul, the universe, God, whatever your beliefs are, will start doing, you will start, you know, moving things to make sure that you continue aligning with your soul and giving you the results that you're after. It might not look at the beginning, it might not look like what, how you want it to, but as you grow, as you keep progressing and taking those steps and choosing yourself and your integrity, then things will open up and doors will open up and opportunities will open up. Because when you live in integrity, that's when you are in flow, when you are you know, just opening yourself up to receive and allow more good things to come into your life. And you're not in fear, you are choosing love. When you are not choosing yourself, you are choosing fear because you're too scared to choose yourself. And I hope that everyone can really tune in and choose themselves because it is just so important right now. I'm not saying to be selfish, okay? It's to choose what your soul wants to do and it has to be an act that is kind to yourself and kind to those people around you okay so that's it for today my little passionate spill and i love you guys i love you i love you i believe in you and have a blessed day evening afternoon wherever you are bye